Do you have any idea what Mumu's doing? I have no idea, but she looks pretty confident, so she must know what she's doing. I think she wants us to play in the garden today. You know that Mumu always has some very strange ideas. Could be that she's painting the classroom a new color and took out all the chairs so that they wouldn't get stained. I don't think Mumu is planning on painting anything. You know how much she likes to play, <laughs> so I think she wants us to play something. But I don't know of any game that's played with chairs. I know how to play one that's really fun. You put a bunch of chairs in a circle and Everyone keeps going around them while the music plays. The moment the music stops, everyone sits down, and whoever is left without a chair gets eliminated. Then you take away another chair and you play again until only one chair is left and two players remain. The winner is the one who's able to sit down. Wow, that sounds like fun. We can play the chair game today. Let's go talk to Mumu to see if she lets us play with her. Hi, Mumu. Why have you brought out all these chairs? Mm, I just felt like sitting in the garden. Is that it? You didn't bring them out to play with? Milo, chairs are only used for sitting down. You can't play with them unless you imagine that they're a car or, or a plane or... Well, we know of a really fun game to play with chairs. That's nice. So why are you telling me? Mumu. You've got five chairs in the garden, and we want to play the chair game with them. But I don't want to play anything. I just want to sit and enjoy the scenery. Whatever you like. You could at least let us sit here with you. All right, then. I wonder what Moo Moo is doing with so many chairs next to each other. I'm sure she wants to play something. Well, I want to play with them too. We can bring our own chairs to play with. Sounds like a good idea to me. Uh, I don't know where the other chairs are. I think Moo Moo must have taken them all. I saw one just underneath the slide. Well, let's get it and go with them. <laughs> Hello, friends. What are you playing? We're not playing anything. We're just sitting here catching a bit of sun. Well, how boring. I thought you'd be playing some game with the chairs. Rita, you cannot play with chairs. They're only used for sitting. You can't play with them. That's not exactly true, Moo Moo. I know a very fun game that you can play using chairs. Please teach us how the game is played. There are six of us, right? Well, you put five chairs in a circle and everyone goes around them while the music plays. The moment the music stops, everyone has to sit down and whoever is left without a chair gets eliminated. Then you take away another chair and you play again until only one chair is left and two players remain. The winner is the one who's able to sit down. That sounds like fun. Why don't we play that game? All right, then. But it seems like a silly game and very boring. You'll see, Moo Moo. Once you start playing, you'll want to play again. Are we all in position? All right. Now remember, when the music plays, we all go round and round. But when it stops, we all have to sit down. The one who's left out will get eliminated. OK, start the music. <laughs> Oh, what bad luck. I was left without a chair. I'm so slow. I kept on dancing with no music. Now 
now there's only two left. Who's gonna win? Play it again. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, you don't need to whisper because I can hear from very far away. We didn't say anything. A while ago, you were talking about painting the treehouse. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, you really did hear us. Uh huh. Makes sense with such big ears. Uh, we heard a noise and came to see what was going on. I'm all right. It's just that I'm pregnant and it won't be too long until I give birth. You're really going to have a little baby elephant right now? I think so. But I'm not very sure because it's my first time. I can't believe this. We're going to see how a little baby elephant is born. How exciting! We could stay here and watch, and we'll help you with whatever you need. That wouldn't be a problem for me. That way I won't be alone. Would you mind if I go and tell my friends when they hear that there's a pregnant elephant who's about to give birth? They're going to be dying to see it. Go right ahead. I'm not going anywhere. I'll stay here and keep you company. Hooray, hooray! <laughs> Mumu! Rita! Alfred! Talalo! You have to come and see something incredible! Not now, Olga. We're sleeping. Mumu, I promise you're going to love this. What could be so important? I don't want to tell you the whole story. Just come down and follow me. I promise you'll love it. Olga, everyone's sleeping and I'm really tired. So tell me what it is or I'm going back to bed. As you wish. There's an elephant who's about to give birth. Oh, great. I'm going back to bed. An elephant? About to give birth? A baby is about to be born! Everybody up! There's a baby about to be born! What's the matter, Moo Moo? Baby elephant is about to be born! Hurry, let's go! It's really incredible! Years ago, I saw how a rhinoceros was born in the jungle! A birth is something incredible and marvelous, and it's... it's... where's Olga? We're leaving now, Rita. Be patient. Patient? Run, Olga! Run! Tell me where she is. I want to see that elephant right now. Everybody quiet. I just can't believe it. The baby elephant sounds just like Milo. Hi, Moo Moo. And he even knows my name. It's incredible. That was Milo. The baby hasn't been born yet. Oh, of course. Yeah, I knew that. It's incredible that there's a baby inside her belly. Inside there? Yes, Moo Moo. The babies are inside the mother's belly. Huh? I knew that. Everybody knows that. But just one question. How does the baby get inside her belly? Huh? Well, Moo Moo, that's more complicated. The elephant has been carrying it inside her belly for two years. Mm, ouch! I think he's just about ready to come out. 
Is there anything we can do to help? I'd like you to start thinking of a name for me to give to my son. Ugh, I can't think of a single name. Lucas! Lucas. Then Lucas it is. It's coming out! <laughs> Look, you can see its head! He's almost out. It's really big. Whoa, how beautiful. Welcome to the world, Lucas. You don't have to do anything. You just have to let nature take its course and keep the mother company. You all did that very well. I hope you come visit us a lot so we can play with Lucas. We'd love to come visit you. We're going to go now and leave you two alone so you could get to know each other. Yes, that would be great. Goodbye, Goodbye Mrs. Elephant. Elephant. Goodbye, Goodbye, Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> that was really awesome. I've never seen anything so incredible. But there's still one thing I don't understand. What's that, Moo Moo? Mm, hello, baby. <laughs> Today I feel like playing some sports. Sports? In such cold weather? Everything's frozen! Of course, Rita. You could deal with the cold by doing exercise. Anyway, we just have to dress for it and then we'll be fine. But, but, but where do you want to go? Since everything's frozen, we could go to the lake and do some ice skating. <sighs> Alright, but first let me get my coat because I'm freezing. Hi, Milo. We're going ice skating. Do you want to come with us? You're not going to believe this, but we just thought the same thing. I'll go and get my skates. Off I go! Olga sure knows how to dominate the art of ice skating. Wow, you do that so well. It's no big deal. I can skate really well, too. Check me out. See, Moo Moo? I can do it, too. I'm about to fall! That's a piece of cake. Now you'll see what I can do. Look, Rita, I'm pretty good too. But you're going backwards. I know that. I'm doing it on purpose. But you're going to fall that way. Be careful. So, Alfred, you want to try? To tell you the truth, this skating thing doesn't do much for me. When was the last time you went skating? Well, actually, I have never skated before. It scares me a little. Don't be afraid, Alfred. You just need to slide into it. It's really easy. You'll see how well you do it once you try. I'll have to try it. Very good, Alfred. Now you just have to move your feet a little. <laughs> I don't understand it. I'm paralyzed. I can't move at all. Don't you worry. I'm just going to push you a little bit so you'll see how easy it is. <laughs> Very good, Alfred. <laughs> That's not funny, Rita. Yes, it 
is funny. Ow! <laughs> Watch yourself. <laughs> You'd better quit laughing because going backwards like that, you'll end up falling on the ice too. Whoa! Can somebody tell me how I'm supposed to turn around? Sure. Slow down and I'll help you. You see how easy? Now you can skate going forward. Things sure do look a lot better this way. Now what do I do? Uh... Whatever, Mumu. You skate backwards and that'll be fine. I've got it now! All I have to do is slide. It's actually easier than it looks. Good. Just go a little slower because you haven't learned how to brake yet. To brake? Nobody told me anything about braking. How do you do that? I'm sorry, Rita. Everybody get out of my way because I don't know how to stop. Milo, help me stop him. He's going out of control. You get on one side and I'll get on the other. Help! Oh! Oh! oh. Have you noticed that you're the only one who hasn't fallen?